So Xavi's Barcelona team in real life is absolutely unstoppable. They've beat the likes of Real Madrid in the Supercopa final, they're top of the league in La Liga, and statistically they've got the best defence in Europe. What I've been trying to do on FIFA is replicate Xavi's tactics in real life into the game. As you can see I run a full Barcelona team anyway, but the tactics make a huge difference. We're playing the 4 3 3 2 with a single pivot, and we've tweaked a few things in the midfield to make sure Busquets gets that extra support. We're starting Gavi in the false winger role, where he drops back and plays kind of like a centre mid in the build up, and it seems to work really well on FIFA. Before we get into it, please make sure you drop a like on this video and also hit the subscribe button, it really does help me out a lot. So, getting into the tactics, we actually play really aggressive. The defensive style, pressure on heavy touch. The defensive width is on 50 and our depth is on 80. We want our backline to be as high as possible to put pressure on our opponents. For offensive build-up play, I've gone for balanced. I've not really tried any others, but for me, balance works so well, I just don't see any point in trying. The chance creation, I've got two for you. You can either go possession or you can go direct passing. I don't really think it makes too much difference, but for me, I've always favoured the possession tactic building up nice and slowly in the midfield and waiting for them gaps for the players to make attacking runs into. The offensive width we've got on 60. One thing that Chavi always asks of his wingers and fullbacks is to stay really wide. It opens up the space in the midfield for the striker and the two centre mids to bomb forward and get into the box. And with good quality players like Dembele and Rafinha on the wings, it can be quite dangerous. Getting forward, I think it's important to have a lot of players into the box, a lot of options around just so you can pass off if you need to. I find it helps me score more goals with Gavi and Pedri, so I always keep it to about seven. And then for corners and free kicks, we've just got them on two. And now for the individual player instructions, we'll start with a goalkeeper, comes for crosses, sweeper keeper. I'm not really sure these make too much of a difference, but for me, I'd rather have something on than just the balance options. At right back, just because I'm using Kunde, I keep it on stay back whilst attacking. I don't change anything else. If I had a player in my team that was better going forward, I would probably take him off of stay back and keep him on balanced but the stay back option does work really well for him. Nothing changes on the two centre backs, both on stay back while attacking. And now at left back, we've got Jordi Alba on join the attack and overlap. This one's really important because what you'll find happens is in this formation is our false left winger drops into the midfield, drops more central, and then Jordi Alba is clear to go straight at the left hand side into the open space. And now for the Busquets role in midfield, we've got cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, aggressive interceptions and cover centre. He's the best kind of player for this role, he's able to play a good pass, he's able to dribble out of trouble, he's really good defensively and he's got legs, on FIFA that is, not in real life. In the right centre mid, this is the one that we don't like to get too far forward, we've got De Jong on this side, stay on edge of box for cross and cover centre. And then in the left centre mid position we've got our Pedri, he's on get forward, get into the box across and cover centre. Next up we'll go with our right winger, normally I use Dembele but because we've got a new Rafinha I'm trying him out. We've just got him on stay wide and everything else is just the default options. And now for our number nine, Robert Lewandowski, we've got him on stay central, get in behind and stay forward. And then in the left wing position, the false winger in this team, we've got Gavi. We've got him on comeback on defence, but at the same time, he does have the ability to get forward when needed to. And also, because Jordi Alba's overlapping, it's not too much of a problem if he does drop back a little bit. We're going to get into a quick game and show you how it plays. So here we go into foot champs. It's my first game using Rafinha and we're up against what looks like a really good team. He's got himself Janola and the brand new player of the month in Bappe. Flashback Paul Pogba. So I'm sure this one's going to be a difficult game. So as you can see, Rafinha's out really wide, opening up the space. He's able to run through it quite a lot and play that over the top through ball. Straight to the midfielder. Oh, unlucky. But that to me is exactly how Xavi likes his players playing. Once again, Rafinha stays out wide. With the centre mid up in support. Unfortunately, that pass didn't go to Rafinha and it's dragging Lewandowski out wide. And this is right where we want Jordi Alba to get forward. It's not a great touch. Yes, Gavi, look at the work. And into the box we go. One more, Rafinha. I don't know why I did the extra pass. I didn't mean to, but that was really good play. We had a lot of people in the box. And the aggressive defence as well. Once again, stopped a quick counter-attack. Out wide to Rafinha. Can we go back in? No. Oh, lovely play from Jordi Alba. And a good ball from Gavi there. Give us an overlap. I like that, De Jong. Hit it. What a terrible touch. Lewa, lovely assist from Rafinha there as well. 1-0 up. Is he quitting already? Wow, okay, 1-0 up and he's quit. We're going to play one more. 
So we've accidentally skipped our opponent's team, but it doesn't matter. You can see he's got player of the month Saul off and he's trying to cheese straight through the middle. But let's see what we can do against him. So we're taking it slow to start with, trying to just build up from the back. Play them balls through the midfield. As you can see, Jordi Abel with the overlapping run. And then, oh, almost found Pedri. That's quite unlucky. And then the aggressive defence, straight on his toes. Doesn't really have much he can do. Pulling the centre-backs out with the RB button. He's quite stuck. Nice Busquets. Pedri has gone to Alba instead, which is fine. De Jong, out wide to Rafinha. He's going to cut in. In typical Rafinha fashion, unfortunately, Pio stops him. And again, it's only Declan Rice. Well done, PK. Lovely ball. Out wide. Found him perfectly. Take it down. He thinks we're going to cut in. Oh, I, I meant to cut back out. Nice, Christensen. Lewa, straight through. What a lovely ball from Gavi. Can he finish? Unlucky. And a great tackle from Alba. As he runs up the left wing again. Can he take it past Carlos Alberto? Pedri, De Jong, oh, it's Gavi, back to De Jong, and Rafinha, to Lewa, to, oh, so close, so close. I would say we're definitely more in control of this game, so I'm still feeling quite confident. He says, as I get counter-attacked and scored on, damn. That's the one thing with these tactics, you are susceptible to counter-attacks. That's just the nature of the tactics that Xavi plays. So it is very much replicated in FIFA as well. But you're such an attacking threat going forward that it shouldn't matter too much. You should hopefully, as long as you can take your chances, be able to uh, outscore your opponents as well. Oh, we've almost dribbled past them. Yes, Kunde, good tackle. Nice from Gavi. Oh, but he can't finish. Lewa, oh, no way is he saving that. Edge of the box, we've got Frankie De Jong to Busquets to Kunde, out wide. Alba, I don't really know what's going on with this set piece, but can we find Lewa in the middle for a header? And he saved it again, but he's parried it into his own net. We'll take it. And he's quitting at 1-1. Now, why would you do that? I'm assuming he thought he wasn't going to win that game. We were all over him. He did manage to get one lucky counter-attack. As you can see, 61% possession to 39%. We were already in control of the game and it barely even started. 